Let's do this. Well, you already know I was in college in the 60s. So you'll know why I'm playing this song. Or you'll say, holy moly, I've never heard that song before. That's a weird song. Oh, if I were a carpenter, you were a lady, would you marry me anyway? Would you have my baby? If I were a miller, and a mill wheel driving, would you miss your color Giving you back love, love me away. If I work my hands, would you still love me? Take my love for sorrow, take my love for always. I'm giving you my tomorrow, love me away. unusual, but I really had no money. So I got a room in a house in Mount Kisco in New York for a hundred bucks a month. Even in 1969 that was cheap. And the house, I had a room and a bathroom. That was clean, relatively so. The rest of the house was awful. The, 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 the guy that owned the house was a nice fella. Ed was a good guy. But Ed made made Oscar Madison look tidy. He liked soft butter. So he would put a stick of butter on a plate and stick it on the top of the washing machine in the kitchen. Now the floor was not level in the kitchen. House was not air conditioned. You know where this is going, right? So the butter would melt across the summer and it would slide off the plate, drip across the uh, washing machine and then drip onto the rug in the kitchen. I stayed out of the kitchen as much as possible. So consequently, I ate every meal, pretty much every dinner at the, at the uh, Midnight Diner in Mount Kisco. To give you an idea of the quality of the Midnight Diner, they had a special. All you can keep down, $3.99. So I ate there most nights with three other guys, Ken, Nappy, and Maurice. Nappy was a butcher who had no teeth. Now, I think he had teeth at home in a glass, maybe, but he never brought them to the diner. Consequently, we never knew what he was talking about. And other than, other than eating an apple or corn on the cob, he ate anything on the menu. He must have had the sharpest, toughest gums in North America. So there, there was a waitress at the at the Midnight Diner. Midnight Diner is long gone. It was put on a truck, on a flatbed and taken away. And, and, and a real diner with, with edible food is there now. Mount Kisco Coach Diner. It's quite good. 
So there was this waitress at the diner, and Maria was surly. I don't know why she was surly, but when you ordered, she brought you what she felt you should have. <laughs> Nobody complained because we you knew if we sent it back, all sorts of disgusting things might happen to that meal before it returned to the table. So we never sent anything back. There was another waitress there. Honest to goodness, this is 100% this is true. The, some of the rest of the story was not, but this is 100% true. She was engaged to three guys simultaneously, complete with a ring for each one of them. So when we would go into the diner, we would ask her, which guy is picking you up after work tonight? And do you have the right ring on? He'd spend, he'd, he'd ponied up the money for the ring. We thought he would notice. Now, as you might imagine, this was a good looking gal. I'd love to be able to tell you how the story came out, whether there was a duel, out in the park in Mount Kisco, among the three guys, whether they ever found out, whether she married all three of them simultaneously and continued to fool them, I'd love to know the answer to that. I don't know the answer, but but aside from aside from who killed Marilyn Monroe, that's the other question I would really like to have answered. And this is this song is about her. Oh, Maria, want to be here? Want to see you every day? Oh, Maria, I should fear you. Because of what I've learned today. Oh, Maria. Three men bringing presents. Oh, Maria. Three men call her name. Oh, Maria. Got three rings on her finger. Oh, Maria. Ain't you got no shame? When we see you out on Main Street. Ring you wear today. Oh, Maria, ain't no small feet. Playing with three hearts in such a way. Oh, Maria, got three men bringing the present. Oh, Maria, got three men call her name. Oh, Maria, got three rings for her finger. Oh, Maria, ain't you got no Someday they're gonna catch you Is it something you can fake? But you even worry Cause you got three more to think they're playing But it would not be so funny Cause we could be one of those guys Oh Maria, three men bring a present Oh Maria, three men call her name Oh Maria, got three rings for her finger Oh Maria, ain't you got it? Oh Maria, ain't you got it? Ain't you got no shame? I'm gonna take a two-minute break, maybe three. I may I may goof off and take a three-minute break, and then we'll.